Elite Landscapes, Life Stories, Another Day in Paradise, Rolling Through the Green Fields of the Farm with my son, he's got that thing down pat now, laying down some stripes, having confidence, and having a good time as we stroke out the work days. Welcome to the channel. You get to wash the ups and downs of owning a family business in the lawn care industry. Stick around, find out how the day went. It's Tuesday, boys. Yeah, I missed Monday. <laughs> Totally way too tired to uh, function except for getting that list done. So, it was Tuesday. I feel good. I feel refreshed. Got to bed last night around midnight. Got up at 7. Nice little 7 hours of sleep. Rejuvenation. So, yeah. We did have a no call, no show yesterday with my man Ian. And, um, we finally heard back from him around 5 p.m., something like that. And uh, then again at 1 o'clock this morning, tell me he wasn't even in town. And he wasn't going to be able to come into work. So, hey guys, it is what it is. Uh, I'm not his daddy, I'm not his keeper, I'm not his wallet, and I don't pay his bills. So that's all on him. So uh, the way I handle it is if you screwed me over for two or three days, I'll probably just screw you over for two or three days and not work you. I don't think that's wrong. I have Dalton rolling with me. Me and him can knock out this list with no issues at all. And uh, I guess Ian has a week off. So hope he enjoys his time. Got the Dalt man here with us. Happy to be alive. We are functioning because it is now 11 o'clock. <laughs> we function well by 11 o'clock. The Skags have been wanting to work. They're always patient with us. We got plenty of grass to cut. Plenty of grass to cut. Beautiful location. Yeah, yesterday just wasn't a, uh, I'm going to videotape and show what I'm doing because it was just a day of my two-week accounts. And to me, those two-week accounts, they're always tall, they're always just thick and frustrating. It's just frustrating to deal with, so I didn't think that was going to be very much fun to film anything on. I could have had some cool stuff, but whatever need a break from youtube time to mow grass are you ready he's ready i don't know if he can fly or not <clears throat> but i don't want to run over him i'm gonna have to move him Maybe I'm weird, I didn't want to run over him. He was too pretty to run over. Now he's in the weeds. Good to go. Oh yeah, totally love this property. It's like being on a roller coaster. 
flying up and down these little hills. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It doesn't even feel like work unless it's 110 degrees out. Then everything's work. You can see over here to the right side, they got all that area brush cleared out. It is a new yard starting here for that house that is being built. We make it lucky. We may have another account to throw on the list. Route density, boys. Route density. All right, guys. Pretty easy day today, you know. Not too much sun. It's an overcast day. We like that. And mowing grass. It's easy nowadays. Follow the white lines and do your thing. Big man up there putting everything up. And got the farm to tackle. We'll be all right for today. Oh yeah. We love the clouds. We love the clouds. Even if they end up dropping water out of them, we still love them because we need the water. So. Yep, all mowed up. Looking tight, as always. And uh, like you said, one more place today. Tiny little bitty farm. <laughs> we'll see you there. All right, obviously you can tell, it's not a quick trip to get out there to that property. And honestly, I drive all the way across town to get to my next property. But boys, <laughs> it ain't nothing bad to it, you know? We're gonna make $800 today in like six hours worth of work. So, I'm not gonna complain about a little bit of downtime, a little bit of drive time, a little bit of rest and relaxation in between these big cuts i actually enjoy it and the money's great we're here on the farm again that deja vu life a deja vu life you know what I'm talking about every week just kind of goes and goes and goes and before you know it you've been here 32 times and the season's over so yeah nice cloud coverage out I can see the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains over there and uh, tomorrow is the wet day from the uh, wonderful hurricane rain coming through so we'll get all this tall, chunky grass cut today so it doesn't grow anymore. And uh, yeah, y'all be good. All right, boys. We've been out here at the farm many a times on our videos. But we're gonna go to a little section of the farm that I haven't really taped much of and talk about the uh, huge beautiful boxwoods that are on this property because uh, when I go to the nursery and I buy a boxwood that's uh, five gallons that little guy is expensive <laughs> you know what I'm talking about you go try to plant some of these boxwoods Let's see how expensive they are when they're tiny, tiny things. So here we are in the front. Look at these boxwoods. Giant, huge, just probably 70 years old or more. So my question to you, a boxwood that big, how much do you think it's worth? My guess, if I would go through here and price that to uh, come out with a tree spade and remove it with a huge tree spade and transplant it to a different property, that's probably about a $10,000 boxwood. But if you guys have expertise that I don't, 
in that field, please throw it in the comments. If you know how much these giant boxwoods are worth, please let me know because I'm really guessing this property has about a half a million dollars worth of boxwoods on it in their mature stage. Yeah, like I said before, <laughs> Dalton's really getting the hang of this mowing thing. And the weed eating thing. He doesn't mind doing either one of them. And um, he's definitely enjoying the money and the income he makes from rolling around. Here's the entrance. <laughs> Huge boxwoods. Now one thing I will say, boxwoods are really finicky. And if you ever have a uh, wilting branch that turns brown and white, please remove that quickly because the uh, boxwood will, will spread and spread and take over all your boxwoods eventually. And you'll be left with a bunch of brown, half-dead bushes. That was a waste of investment because you did not pay attention and prune off what needed to be pruned at the right time. Man, it's beautiful out here. <laughs> Man, that Freedom Z Pro, that Freedom Z Pro cuts a lot of grass. <laughs> I used it for six years straight. That thing rolls. But it ain't nothing compared to this uh, Turf Tiger 2. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of fun doing this stuff, guys. Love making these properties look beautiful. And even though I double cut this property many, many times, I still love doing it. It's a long, tedious effort, but the double cut just burns those stripes in beautifully. Solo lawn care. Solo mowing. Working by yourself. All right. Totally different vibes anytime you have a helper because you know you don't have to do everything on your own you have someone to help you it's huge in your mind when you're out here on these big properties and you're cutting and cutting and you see that thatch laying on top and then you know you got a double cut and then you got to go through a weedy do bed maintenance, and then blow the entire property. It is uh, mentally challenging to keep that positive drive and your body going full speed. So having just any help out at these big properties changes your mindset for the better. How was that? Uh, it was alright. Alright. It was long. The grass was long? definitely long grass but it's not brown and crispy and yucky anymore that's for sure and usually in August around here that's what it is so thankful for the rain it's starting to sprinkle now. yeah starting to sprinkle on us as we sit here and chill for a minute but not too bad for a father and son team mowing like 15 acres, about 15 acres today, so. On the skags. The sexy skags. We love them. I've had good helpers. I've had bad helpers. I've had helpers that don't show up. I have helpers that show up early and wait for me to get ready. I'll tell you what, boys. Rocking out all this grass with my youngest son this year has been such a pleasure. I mean, yeah, having a helper makes you happy. Having a helper that you train and you ain't got to mess with too much and he does everything he's supposed to do it really makes you happy. But boys, when I'm rolling around, I look over there and I see my son rolling with me. <laughs> That's a whole different 
whole different level of happiness. Guys, solo mowing can be draining, grueling work. But rolling around, he just gives me um that boost. The enjoyment kind of brings back the the funness of mowing grass, if you will. You know, back when you were 18, 19, like he is, just out there mowing with your boys, cracking up, being silly. Yeah, really enjoying this year. And you know, the future's uncertain. We'll see what happens. I know one thing. He's a beast. And uh, if he sticks around, he'll be making a killing eventually. And he'll have a good life. And a good lifestyle. So, if he follows me, like he is now, in this video, if he follows me through life, it may not have been his, uh, you know, goal to achieve, but uh, I'll guarantee him that he has a good lifestyle. Okay class, we're going to have a restringing the weed eater session and teach you guys how to restring your weed. Nah, we ain't run out of content like that yet. <laughs> we ain't going to waste time teaching you how to restring a weed eater. Plenty of videos out there telling you how to do that stuff. 10 minutes till 6. The man is done with his mission. Time to get home. Yeah, it's starting to rain too, so perfect timing. A little bit of rain. Like 10 acres of grass, maybe 12. I don't, I don't know. A whole bunch of grass, but it's done. Right, dog? Yes, sir. baby. Here comes the hurricane rain. <laughs> I'll take a day tomorrow, get some rest. Get all my invoices in that I was supposed to get in. <laughs> and uh, yeah, peace, we out.